Hey guys, this is Paradox Owns right here, and I'm going to show you how to, how to use Ragnarok. Now, I get a lot of people ask me how to use it, and it would take way too long to explain in comments or, or annotations or whatever. So I just decided to explain it using sound and shit like that. Well, anyway, when you successfully install Ragnarok and open it up, you'll start with this tab right here. Now Ragnarok has eight different tabs and I'll show you the, each one right now. Alright, so we'll start with the settings tab. Or the help tab, I mean. Help. Help tab. Alright. Now, right here is a little, little, little guy right here how to, um, make, uh, Ragnarok work. And, uh, the first step, you go to the browser tab and you log in and the congr and congregate you just log in step two you want to go to the settings tab and fetch your username using this button right here now this will only work once you log in okay step three use the browser to go to a game you want to hack so say go to browser uh... i want to hack uh... i don't know this this game right here when you open up the game, it'll it takes a second. It'll pop it into a new window, and that window will have uh, it, that window will have a special uh, section where you can edit variables and whatnot. Now you'll see it in a couple couple seconds right here, and it's taking it. And here you go. This is a little window that it makes. As soon as I can move it, there we go. Alright. Now, once you start a game, you go into the game or whatever, and to figure out what the variables are, you do, you go to scanner, and you do start scan, and it downloads the game, and it's scans all the all the uh, variables to see which one which ones uh are numeral variables and stuff like that and right here it shows 120 so you just go to the variable section right here once it's done scanning and it shows all the variables in the game so it could be health or whatever or health or ammo or whatever and it shows everything now this is where most of the hacking takes place and yeah well some of the variables you can't edit in the scanner or in this w little window such as these variables wipe pop up options load data anything that says level 8 load data you can't really change now you could you could set it to zero or whatever to make it stop working such as uh i don't know some games you could set it to zero and it stops working, just like uh, Tales Worth Arena, you could do that, but you can't really change their values using Ragnarok. Well, anyway, enough with that. A frame, frame tab right here, you can change the frame so you can go to frame 20, and it'll change the frame to frame 20 if there is a frame 20 in the game. So let me see if I can find one. No. Alright, so it's See? You could change what frame you want. And it will go to that frame. It's useful for games where games that actually use frames that you can skip forward and stuff. And uh get badges that way. And uh your little chat window over there, I'm not gonna go to that now, it doesn't really matter. Okay. So that explains what hap what's that pop-up window. Now, oh, of course, have fun. All right. Well, anyway, settings to uh, to edit in the hack online section, which I will show you in a couple minutes. You must log into Ragnarok and to get updates too. You must create a Ragnarok profile right here, and you have to log in. 
Alright, auto update. This is where any new updates come for the program. And uh, when they come, my advice is to download them right when they get here. Uh, the Soul Editor, really important here. The Soul Editor lets you edit your saved games. So if you play a game, you save it, and it has uh, you're on level 3, there might be a variable in the Soul Editor that lets you change the uh, level you're currently on. So if you change the level from 3 to 100 or whatever, and you save it, remember always save this button right here, and you save it, and you open the game again, it'll be like you saved it at level 100. So when you open the game, you'll be at level 100. So it's very useful for most games. And I'll show you here, just press scan for SOLs, and it'll give you a list of all the games you played. And you just click on a game. And it should show you the parent directory right here. You click the plus sign and it shows you all the variables. See player name, nobody special, score, tier, high accuracy, and you just edit whatever whatever you want. And that's what the very what's that's what the value will be when the game starts. Now you just you just press save or whatever. Now what people overlook is the swap SOL option right here. This lets you this lets you uh, swap the SOL with other files such as the ones the, the SOL files that you download from online. And you just click whatever you want, you open and it will swap the SOL file SOL file with it. And you won't have to go through the file editing for the whole entire time. You just use someone else's.